Greetings, it is Max so Diddly here, and today I am here with another Python tutorial to help you get an A in your coursework or exam. And today we're here with very simple name validation. So what do I mean by name validation? Basically, we're going to ensure that all the characters in an input is a letter. And we are going to allow for spaces so someone could type out their full name like John Smith. Now before you say, but Max, what about Elon Musk? Or a good chunk of the Irish population? I am aware there are. This isn't perfect. However, that's going to be for a different tutorial because this is going to be a quick thing you can do in an exam or when you're under time pressure. So be sure to subscribe if you want to see that. But let's get right into it. So we have got user input equals max. This is going to be a variable to represent the user input. This tutorial will not cover how to get user input, only how to validate it. Then we've got print is valid name. User input. So what's going on here? Well, we're going to print whatever the is valid name function is going to return. And we pass in user input into that function, which is the name we wish to validate. So let's get into defining that function. So we have def is valid name. And then we have input in the brackets and a colon. So we are defining our function. It is called is valid name. Input is going to be our parameter. And that's going to represent the name we wish to validate. Then we do return input dot replace. Then we do two speech marks with a space in between them, a comma then two speech marks with no space in between them. Then we do dot is alpha. What's going on here? This is a big chunk of code. Well, for one line. So input is the string we wish to validate. Dot replace. So dot replace is we're going to take something, every instance of something in this string and replace it with something else. In this case, any white space, single white space, is going to be replaced by nothing. And when I mean by replaced by nothing, what I don't mean literally we're going to just keep those white spaces there. We're going to remove the white spaces. So if we replace the white space with no white space, any single white space, any white space is going to get removed, if that makes sense. Like let's say we've got Bob Smith and there's a one white space in between them. After that, It'll be Bob Smith, but there'll be no space in between. So for B and the S, the B at the end of Bob and the S at the start of Smith are going to be next to each other. And, and then after that, we're going to check if that string, after we do the removing of white spaces, is alpha. And you might be thinking, what does this alpha mean? Does that mean it's an alpha male? No, it doesn't mean that. It means if the string only contains alpha bet characters. So anything that's in the alphabet. If you want a function to determine if someone's an alpha male or not in the future, um, leave a comment and I'll make a tutorial on how to do that. But for now, what? But for now, we're just going to stick with checking if there's alphabet characters in the name. And the reason why we have to do this is uh, a space isn't an alphabet character. Therefore, it would always be false if someone put in both their names. Like some forms online say, put in your first names, because that would be your first name, your middle name, and then your surname gets its own field. This is why we're doing this. And that's it. I would also say this returns a true or a false, so whatever this becomes a true or a false gets returned. If it's true, that means there's only letters in that name. If it's false, that means someone put in a number or a special character because you're Elon Musk's child and you have a very special name. Special meaning loads of special characters. Yeah. Or you're Irish. Anyway, let's hit, uh, let's save and hit play. So our input was max and it's valid. It's valid because max is just a bunch of alphabet characters. Or letters. Why am I saying alphabet characters? I could say letters. We're going to put max12. And it's false because 1 and 2 aren't. 
like, they're not letters, they're numbers or digits. Let's put Max OD Italy and then hit play. This will be valid. Why is this valid? Well, yes, there is a non letter character in here, but we do remove that in our check. So this becomes valid because we want to allow for spaces. Now let's try um, Max O Diddly, but with but with a, a, an apostrophe, like my channel name. That's false. That's not a valid name. It's a nickname I was given in high school. And that's it for this tutorial. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and I will be uploading a more advanced name validation tutorial in the near future, so be sure to subscribe just for that. Thanks for being a great audience, and I'll see you next time.